She has grown before our very eyes. Charleston native and rising country artist Lauren Hall has brought her beloved genre into the 21st century and has just released her new EP, Broke My Heart Just Enough. We'd like to welcome back singer-songwriter Lauren Hall to this week's Spotlight Music Series. It's great to see you. It's so great to see you, Layla. Thank you all for having me. Yeah, and when I say that you have grown before our very eyes, it is so true. I mean, we've known each other now for at least four years, and you are still so young, but you have accomplished so much during this time. And before we get into this EP and a fabulous music video that you just released, Thank you. tell us a bit about what that journey has been like for you. You know, it's funny, like, I, people ask me a lot, because I've been in this community a long time, I started doing music, I guess I started playing in a band when I was like 17 around here, and I'm going to be 25 this year, so, I mean, it's been like a, a good process, I think, to grow in such a great community like Charleston, you know, just playing local bar gigs, and then, you know, doing stuff with the radio stations, and then going to Nashville, and still keeping my roots here, because it's it's such a good music town and I've really found that with releasing music and just growing my own following around my brand and my music. Whereas like I kind of grew up doing cover gigs a lot and then I started writing my own stuff. So it's been cool to, you know, grow my following here and then like go to Nashville and still keep my roots and play here. So it's it's been really like a, a great experience living in Charleston and going back and forth to Nashville and it's kind of groomed me for this season I'm in now having this new EP out. Like it really grooms you doing like live shows and learning how to connect with people on stage. And before you go and you record a project like this, I just think it's important to test out the songs with your audience at live shows. And I kind of did that a lot with our shows here. I'd write, you know, different songs and we'd rehearse them with my band and play them at different shows and see people's responses. And then, as I went to Nashville, it kind of helped me narrow down what songs to pick, like based on their reactions. So oh, wow. it's been it's been a fun experience. And recording yeah. in Nashville was was an awesome experience too, having a team up there. I actually it's it's a South Carolina connection why I went to Nashville. Um, one of my producers, his name's Philip Lamons, he's from South Carolina, went to college at Charleston. He's now a big songwriter in Nashville. He's with Curb Records, and he was college roommates with my dad, who is like oh my, my drummer in my band. And he kind of watched me grow up, and he like took an interest in my music. And then like I guess it's been like three years ago, he was like, "I'd like to produce your music. Let's write wow. together." So that's kind of what got me to Nashville because it's so hard to break in because like Nashville, sure. you have to have your little group and your your network. People, you know that is such a gift that is such a gift to have that but it sounds like you really are very smart about it you're not just a creative person but you also have a strategy and, and to credit your your father as well and the people around you but uh, to have that strategy to understand kind of how the whole business works yeah. um and I want to talk about your EP, but just real quick, you know, this is a constant grind for you and you did not rest on your laurels during the pandemic. You used that time wisely, but you were always promoting yourself. And that's the one thing following you on social media, you're always producing something. You're always out there and it seems fresh every time you do it, that it doesn't seem like it's a grind. I don't know if it is, but it certainly doesn't look like it. Well, thank you for saying that. I really appreciate it. It's, you know, in this day and age, as y'all know too, like social media and your brand and your image, it's it's really important. You know, you can record a song and because that's what every musician thinks like, oh, I just love music. I love writing. And like, that's where the core of it is. You need to have that. But then you get all that music recorded. And it's like, what do I do with it now? You have to build a story around this project and like the one single if you release a song like I did last year I released a lot of singles off of this EP you have to do like videos and different photo shoots to go with the theme and I mean it it's hard work I mean I'm not gonna say it's yeah. not hard work it is um oh, yeah. I enjoy doing it I do all my socials myself but it's definitely time consuming you know like people pay people to do that for them for their businesses and you know it's and you're doing it for yourself yeah, and that's what it keeps me busy a lot during the week when we're not playing shows. Thankfully, we're back to playing live shows a lot more. 
in 2021, which has been good. But yeah. last year when everything shut down, it was like everybody was, it was all new for everybody and it still is new for everybody, but it was cool to have, I had all this content ready to go as far as the music goes. And I just shot the music video for my song gone. So I had all this content and I was like, okay, well now I'm not playing shows. Right. Let's go to work and kind of rebrand and, and get everything yeah. looking polished. You're so, so smart. You were so smart. I mean, just and so talented in this EP. So when was it released? And tell us more about this video. Thank you very much. So the EP was released two weeks ago. I'm so happy it's finally out. It's Congratulations. It's uh, seven songs. So a lot of those songs, I think I released four of them. I should know that. Four or five <laughs> of them singles already. And then we released the whole thing as a full project two weeks ago. Um, and then we shot the music video for Thank You Very Much, which is a, it's a single off of this album. And uh, we shot it in a studio in Greenville. It was really fun. We got to like construct all the sets and did a bunch of different looks. And speaking of doing things yourself a lot, I, I worked with my videographer friend, Ricky Hartzog, and he's great with brainstorming ideas and like the story plot. But we, it was me, him, two other guys and we they, they constructed all the sets while I was changing outfits and we brainstormed all the different like creative ideas and props and Gosh. it was very artsy like you can tell from watching it it's like we it's beautiful it's beautiful and and our audience is going to be able to see that video coming up after the break but Lauren you've also got some dates coming up we're going to put those up on the screen so people can actually watch you perform live finally so <laughs> Congratulations and thank you very much. Well, thank you all. I really appreciate it. Yeah, we've got thank a lot you. of things coming up this year. Uh, right. This weekend we'll be playing uh, with Riley Green at Hannah Hannah Amphitheater. It is sold out, but yeah. tickets might pop up if you check on the Facebook event page. People, people keep are trying. Still. You so. got to see. You got to see Lauren perform live. Lauren, thank you so much, and thank you very much. It's coming up after the break. We'll be right back. Yeah.